The way in which I ended up on the Headwarmers show, it's, it's a very funny story. Um, it started in 2001. Um, I managed to, to, to steal, I don't want to use that word, but I managed to steal a radio from the house where my mother was a domestic worker. Um, I stole this radio. It's a nice little alarm radio. It had all the features. <laughs> And first time that I was listening to it secretly because I didn't know, I didn't want my mother to find out. Um, I was going through the stations and it happened to be on a Friday night when they were sleeping. Um, I heard some hip hop through the radio, very strange. Um, it played and it played and it played and it was awesome. Um, and then I didn't memorize which station it was. So when I had gone to the next station, I couldn't find it anymore. And I couldn't remember which day it was until there was another time um, that I finally found it again. Um, and at that time, you know, I made it a point that I won't forget this station. And at that stage, it was called the Headwarmers Show. Um, Shaheen Ariftin was one of the presenters, as well as Dre. And they were often joined by Tony and a lady called Nazli on the show. These were the, th the four uh, main characters of the show. And every week they would give an opportunity to the listeners or the MCs that were listening to drop some lines, you know. Um, and whenever I could, and through a process of stealing, <laughs> through stealing, I would then wait for my mother to be sleeping and for my dad to be sleeping. Um, whatever I had pinned during the show, because they were the only source of beats that I even had, I would write songs on top of songs that other people were singing, you know, I'd use the instrumentals and pin my own. Um, pick up the phone, you know, introduce myself. Cold Blood is about to, you know, grace you with his um, lyrical prowess. Um, and then, you know, just give it my all. Um, I did this for a couple of weeks, um, much to the amusement of the, of the presenters of the show. And eventually, what happened was that the Headwarmers announced that there were going to be some hip-hop writing workshops that were going to be taking place at Bush Radio, which is the radio station where the Headwarmers was happening. Um, and they invited whoever was interested. Um, and so I, I heeded the call. Um, it was f February 2002, I remember it, on a Saturday, because... It's, it's very difficult going from where I was at the time, Kailicha, to, to get to Salt River, where the station is. Had to take a train, um, got lost along the way, got here late. I was very late on the day, but I managed to, to get myself here. And the writing workshop um, started off very humbly with lots of people who thought, you know, this is going to be the opportunity to blow up. We're going to share the stage. Or rub shoulders with Shaheen, who you know was known for his days, or at that time for POC. Um, Big Dre is a big DJ in Cape Town. This is our opportunity, you know, to get on the radio. Perhaps um, the writing workshops ended up being more of a critical thinking type of workshop into something what was called alchemy, um, and then eventually what happened is that. In 2004, while the Alchemy project was still running, the Headwarmers had to dissolve for various reasons. Um, and there, there, was a no, there was no show any longer on a Friday. And this ha started happening from mid-2004. And at the beginning of 2005, the management of Bush Radio um, not sure what their selection criteria were at, at that time. They, they sort of approached the people that were ever present at the Alchemy Workshop, the people that, you know, always here and were dedicated, or so I'd like to think. Um, you know, guys, you, you, you were introduced, you know, to this Alchemy Project through this show. This show is non-existent now. Would it not be something that you could be interested in or something that you could do um, to restore the show? Get the hip-hop back on the airwaves. People are crying out for 
a hip hop show on Fridays, which had become tradition. Um, do you think it's something that you can do? We grab the opportunity, um, and the first show which I was involved in of the Hit Warmers was on the 16th of September 2005, um, where we <laughs> blundered our way through. Um, but eventually, the main aim, which was to get hip hop back on the airwaves, was you know completed that objective and. Up and from that time onwards, up until now, still involved in the show, um, it's become a staple for every, you know, MC out there that there is hip hop on a Friday on Bush Radio, and we're continuing that tradition. Um, long story, but that's sort of my, how I, I I found my way into the Head Warmers show, and why I'm still involved currently. Bush Radio has been a space um, that has been offered specific to young people um, for, for a while. Um, even the beginnings of Bush Radio um, were very much geared towards change and they were geared towards um, the expression of views that would otherwise be unheard um, and that tradition sort of carried on. And at the time when I was introduced to Bush Radio, sort of about 2001, they were still continuing uh, with sort of the same um, uh, tradition. Um, they were the only place, or the only radio station at least, um, that I knew that would even dare to have a hip-hop show that, that was like the Head Warmers. Um, and then to extend that even more is to offer people from... Kylie, each from Hanover Park, from wherever, to, to then, you know, you invite them to your space. That doesn't happen a lot. You, even now, you can try that anywhere. You'll be kicked out. Bush Radio was the only place that said, look, there are young people out there that need our help. They're talented or they are useful. Um, let's bring them into the space and see what can happen. And that's sort of the, the, the idea is bringing young people together into a space let them sort of deal with their issues um, with minimal involvement from any type of authority figure um, which, you, which young people just, ah, I don't need that. Um, come up with ideas on how they can improve themselves. Come up with ideas on how they can improve their surroundings, their communities. And since 2001 when I started Alchemy, which you know, it was about hip hop initially, but then it became critical thinking. And then how do we then take these little ideas and expand them into other, you know, other aspects of our lives, the way that we deal with economics, the way that we deal with you know, other human beings, um, xenophobia, gender issues. And this was the only place that would offer that. Um, and up until this day, um, Bar a few, you know, personality clashes or bar a few arguments that we have along the way, um, it still, it still is, to 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 a certain extent, a place in which young people can be put in charge of handling and with the or handling their issues, and then finding ways in which they can deal with the issues, and that for me is, you know. One thing that makes Bush Radio stand out compared with any other radio station or any other platform um, and you'll find that, you know, that's something quite unique.